Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, our respected viewers, and welcome to a new episode of the Beliefs of Islam. This is Hassan Hadi, and on today's episode, we will shed some light upon the miracles of the Holy Prophet, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him and upon his pure family. In the previous episode, as a matter of fact, we had begun exploring the discussions we surround the personality of the Holy Prophet Muhammad and whether or not any miracles were produced at his hands. Now this discussion naturally has several implications and there were numerous political factors at the play which have led to such discussions. For example, in the era in which most European and Western scholarship pertaining to Islamic origins was dominated by Christian missionaries, it was quite understandable that there was a desire to reduce the miraculous nature of the Holy Prophet in order to make him seem less than the personality of Isa al-Masih. Likewise, the Muslim world became plagued with the concept of Western scientific naturalism and as a result began to attempt interpreting everything from such a framework which attempted to exempt any supernatural miraculous claims from the realm of history. Now naturally, such scholarship should be viewed with hesitation as it assumes that there is no God or that there exists a God who does not act and interact with the humanity throughout history. Now the claim that the Prophet did not produce any miracles other than the Holy Quran itself is of course extremely problematic for several reasons. Reason number one, the Quran refers to extra Quranic miracles which the Holy Prophet performed thus refuting the claims of those who deny miracles other than the Quran However, this shall be elaborated in a further episode. Reason number two, Muslims have received the Quran through a sophisticated means of oral transmission. Now such transmissions have also produced hadith literature which all affirm extra non-Quranic miracles performed by the Holy Prophet of Islam. Reason number three, the Sirah literature which is the main source of the Holy Prophet's life depended upon by such scholarship is filled with such narratives of miracles. If such missionaries and secular scholars which depend upon the historical framework provided by Sirah Magazi literature that they are in no position to hold qualms then with the details provided by Sirah Magazi literature including the miracles. Reason number four, any methodology which is based upon contemporary science and scientific rationalism is denying the timeless nature of the prophetic Sirah and that it assumes that the 7th century Arabs were equally as advanced and rational in their reasoning and would not have required miracles to vindicate prophetic claims. This seems to be contradicts. However, this seems to contradict our knowledge of such a people and therefore is largely questionable. It is however necessary to be aware of such assumptions and presuppositions which existed in literature which depicts the Holy Prophet of Islam in the 19th and 20th centuries for through understanding such we will be able to move forward and challenge such radical assumptions demonstrating how they are flawed and additionally invalid from both a Muslim and non-Muslim perspective. This is for today's episode. Until we meet you again with the new episodes, thank you for being with us and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.